Hi, I'm here in Brisbane's Chinatown Mall, but this isn't a real Chinatown. But I'm going to show you today where you can find the real thing here in Brisbane. So the Duncan Street Mall here actually has a lot of things that you would think of when you think of Chinatown. It's got the gates, it's got the lions, it's got lanterns, it's got a weird Chinese catfish thingy. It's got a lot of Chinese restaurants. Well, it's got some Chinese restaurants. There's even surveillance cameras everywhere, just like the real China. But uh, apart from that, there's one really important thing that's missing, and that is Chinese people, or actually any people for that matter. This is a ghost town. So where is the real Chinatown? The place where the Chinese community hangs out. A place with Chinese restaurants that actually have Chinese customers. A place with Chinese supermarkets and groceries and a bustling, lively, energetic culture. Because it certainly isn't here. All right, well, let me take you there right now. This is Brisbane's real Chinatown. Huan Ying Lai Dao, Sunny Bank. Sunny Bank's pretty much the center of the Chinese community here in Brisbane. So, this is where you can try truly authentic Chinese food. Uh, it's not like that westernized Chinese stuff that you get in a lot of Chinese restaurants. Here, because it's where the Chinese people eat, it's also where you can get the most Chinese Chinese food. So today I'm going to show you a few things, a few dishes that are really, really local kind of dishes that you might not know about and are definitely worth a try. The first one is zhou or congee, which is basically rice porridge. There's a number of restaurants in Sunnybank that have it, and it's a popular breakfast dish, particularly in the south of China. It's a pretty boring dish by itself, but it's eaten with youtiao, or fried dough sticks. Artery-blocking crispy goodness. You dump the youtiao into the congee just long enough to soak some up, but not lose its crispiness. It's so good. A lot of the time when people visit places like this, they see the Asian supermarkets and they're full of all of these really interesting products, but they don't really know what things to get because number one, they can't read any of it. Uh, and secondly, it's just, it, it can become so overwhelming with so many unique things in there. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I really recommend that you try. The first is these. These are Huang Wang Shui Bing, uh, which translated literally would be snow cakes. Uh, but they're really, they're, they're a type of rice cracker. But the thing is, before salted caramel, the Chinese people already had these. These are really, really cool because they've got this salty rice cracker thing. But on the top is a glaze of sweet icing. So you've got the sweet and the salty and the combination of the two together. It just works. It's really amazing. So definitely give these a try. Secondly, another of my favorites is these marshmallows, but these aren't any marshmallows. Westerners, we do marshmallows pretty boring. These ones have filling inside. This flavor is my favorite, blueberry filling. So there's a, a, a sweet jelly type filling in the middle of these marshmallows. So if you want a really guilty pleasure, these are for you. Finally, well, actually not finally, I've got two more things. If you ever get a sore throat, I've actually found Chinese medicine can work. And so instead of grabbing some strepsils, you can always try these. These are Wang Lao Ji throat lozenges. When I was teaching in China, I'd always get a sore throat. And I found these actually did a good job of helping ease that soreness. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. So definitely give those a try. The taste, I guess, maybe takes some getting used to. Um, it's not that bad, it's kind of sweet. Uh, but it is a bit Chinese medicine, so mm, strepsils taste better. And finally, the, I'm actually using to hold the camera up at the moment. Let me try and do this. Is this? This is Bing Hong Cha, uh, red iced tea. 
Tapas and this brand, it's really good, really good. So that's another thing that you should give a go if you do want to wander around the Asian supermarkets. All right, so let me put that back. So one more thing that I'm going to show you and that is another really authentic dish. Well, if they make it well, it'll be authentic. I'm not sure. This will be my first time to try this particular one in Australia. Um, but it's guilin mi fen, guilin rice noodles, which are a specialty from one part of China called guilin, which is uh, where I actually lived for a year. So I'll know if this is good. So let's go and check that out. Fen Ku restaurant serves all kinds of rice noodle dishes, but the first one on the menu is based on guilin mi fen, the way it's eaten by guilin locals. It's served dry with beef and crispy pork belly, egg and fried soybeans, and also pickled beans. The verdict? Really authentic flavors, but much more generous servings than in Guilin. But I can't do a video on Sunnybank and not mention Yum Cha, and landmark in Sunnybank Plaza is, I think, the best dim sum in Brisbane. Yum Cha is Cantonese for drink tea, so be sure to try different teas when you come, I like the chrysanthemum tea, as well as the jasmine tea, of course. Classic favourites include barbecue pork buns, beef balls, and prawn dumplings. Or you could be more adventurous and try the chicken feet. I'm not a fan, but my wife loves them, even though she's not Chinese. Don't forget you can get green veggies and other dishes from the counter. The best time to arrive is after 11.20 to be sure you have the biggest selection. It's certainly not pretty and you're definitely not going to get any nice exotic oriental looking photos from coming here, but Sunnybank really is about as close to a little slice of China in Brisbane as you're going to get. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be visiting a whole lot more places. Please let me know what kind of places you'd be interested in seeing. And of course, hit the like if you got something out of the video. And I'll see you in the next one.